Please be advised that everything in my video is purely for entertainment purposes. These are purely my thoughts and opinions and are subjective. I must advise you to please do your own research. All media users found on the public domain and are fair use and fair dealings. Hi everyone, I said I'd be back. I do apologise for this video being a tiny bit late. I managed to sleep for 13 hours yesterday. I got a migraine, not a headache, a migraine. I couldn't handle the TV. I couldn't handle even the birds tweeting outside her. So I took a couple of painkillers and I went to bed and I thought, I said to my husband, you know, when you come home, wake me up. He came home around about, I think about seven o'clock in the evening. He said, I was completely out of it. I vaguely remember him giving me a kiss and that was it. I was gone 13 hours. I kind of woke up this morning like, what's happened? <laughs> so uh, that's why the video's late. Now the timing of it. Now I thought tomorrow, Friday, was Catherine and William's wedding anniversary, but it's not, it's today the 29th. So um, I'm unfortunately gonna be mentioning the Montecito duo, but not for very long, don't worry. But before I get on to Catherine and William, let's talk about Kyle. Kyle is my friend Ems's son. Those of you that follow the other channel that I do, Ems and Taz Let's Talk. So Kyle starred with us on one of the videos talking about what it's like living with autism. He has now started up his own YouTube channel. So if you have autism, if you know of anyone that has autism or you would just like to learn a bit more about the subject even if you just wanted to send him an email like people do with me and Ems just to say please can you talk about this how do you feel about this and it will give him you know ideas to put in his coming video so well done Kyle welcome to the club now on Tuesday we were treated to a visit to County Durham by Catherine and William which is in North Yorkshire Catherine and William both rocking their country style I love this particular fashion trend that Catherine wears it just well I I mean it's not even a fashion trend it is very country Catherine has always uh, been a country girl and I just think it really suits her it's funny because even though she wasn't obviously born into the royal family she actually can still look regal in like joppers and riding boots I mean obviously I'm a little bit biased I mean I love her in ball gowns I love her in the school runs I just yeah she can pretty much get away with wearing a bin bag as I've said before so they were visiting farmers to talk about the impact that the worldwide bug has had on farming and then in combination with that homeschooling a large number of farms especially in the UK are actually family run where it's actually you know several generations so where you know mum and dad the kids go to school mum and dad are both working together on the farm to make it work often grandparents are also working on the farm so it's definitely hit farmers having to homeschool their children um, with, with a bit more difficulty I mean I know it's been difficult for a lot of people but when you can work at home if you think and sit on a laptop you can't do that if you're running a sheep farm can you so William and Catherine then went on to visit the Cheesy Waffle Project. Now the Cheesy Waffle Project is for children, young people and adults with um, additional needs. They get the children together, it gives carers and families a bit of a respite, they have lots of fun, they do sports and social activities, cookery classes, lots of various different things and it helps the, 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 the children all the way through to the adults learn sort of independent skills and as I said just generally have a laugh. Catherine and William are actually linked to the Cheesy Waffle Project through the charity called The Key. The Key was one of the 26 charities that benefit from the Royal Wedding Gift Fund. Because Catherine and William, obviously being royal and loaded, I mean, you're not exactly going to be buying them a toaster or a dining set, are you? So they'd actually set this up. It's actually becoming quite a popular thing with couples that are getting married rather than saying, because a lot of us, I mean, the times have changed. We've been living together for a number of years. We don't need a new sort of like cookery set or various other things that used to be the sort of presents that you would buy young couples so people are setting up these donation funds to various charities different causes so back to the cheesy waffle project one of the things um i've getting this hand wave i don't know what to do with my hands when i do videos my last video i was like that like i was praying like a virgin mary <laughs> this one i'm all like let's conduct la, la, la. right the cheesy waffle project back to them proved a point to the world that catherine is in fact a mere mortal yes i learned something that catherine is actually pretty shit at and that is golf. <laughs> but the kids 
loved it, she loved it, William loved it, and it just goes to show the, the, the type of couple that they are. We've always seen when they do sports, when they do boat racing, they've got a really fun competitive streak between them. And I also really like the way that they're so natural with people. You can imagine the way that they are, they're, they are exactly like that with each other at home, the looks, the kind of like the cheeky grins. They just seem to get along with everyone, don't they? It doesn't matter the age group. I mean, Catherine and William get along brilliantly when they're playing with young toddlers, when they go to hospital visits. It doesn't really matter where they go. They just seem to connect with people. So William had a bit of a sweet, well, bittersweet moment with um, some of the children that he met that have just completed their Duke of Edinburgh award. There was a little clip with him saying, that the yeah, um, unfortunately you know he passed away a couple of weeks ago did you know he was my grandfather but I just I don't know I thought it was very very sweet but again it's that it's that whole thing with Philip it's the you know the war the royals are back to work after the funeral and it's now just that oh yeah he's not here anymore and it does take time to get over that if you ever really get over that so obviously positive press for Catherine and William something's got to come out but I don't think in this case it's actually genuinely Harry and his wife's fault but the famous couple, well, sorry, famously notorious, notoriously famous, the notorious couple, which are known as Harry and his wife, who love their privacy, who fled to get away from the fishbowl that could be, you know, invasion of their life and protecting Archie from privacy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be presenting Vax Live. Yes, the rich and elite are throwing a concert to demand world leaders share their stocks worldwide. They will call on all governments to commit to donating spare doses and resources, pushing businesses and no doubt taxpayers to donate dollars for doses. There will be President Joe Biden with his carer Kamala Harris making sure he doesn't fall over. You've got the Foo Fighters. You're going to have Jennifer Lopez no doubt bending over and singing through her legs. And then you're going to have Harry and his wife who will no doubt be clutching her newfound bump. The question on everybody's lips is what size will the baby bump be on Sunday? The baby bump be, you should try saying that fast. Let's be honest, she looked pretty gigantic from the uh, from the size bump that she had that Archie was straddling and riding to school or to the crash or wherever it was that they were going the other day. So yet again, you know, it is the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry. Um, so they're still not using their titles, sure. Now, you can tell by the number of people that um, Jennifer Lopez, Selena Gomez, the Foo Fighters, they were all um, supporters of the Democrats. So it's definitely a more, more of a democratic sort of uh, concert, shall we say. Now, we know that Harry's wife is definitely snaking towards people because she wants to run in politics, which I'm just going to find is going to be hysterical. And Harry and himself on the day of his grandmother's birthday instead of being in England celebrating it with her he was whining and dining a socialite called Wallace Annaberg she is a billionaireess or millionaireess a philanthropist and also a member of the Democratic Party so I you know I guess that uh, Harry might be plugging her for uh, for funds to donate to Archwell strange that Harry was allowed to go out and dine pretty much the day after he touched down uh, back in California due to the fact you know the worldwide bug there was no quarantine for him apparently he quarantined for a few days but it doesn't really seem like it's the length of time that everyone else has to quarantine for he didn't quarantine at all going back which leads me to believe that he's had both doses of the injections now it does make you laugh the fact that well obviously the rich can get hold of these doses of course they can you you can guarantee that they didn't have to wait 12 weeks between injections to make sure it lasted i guarantee that lots of rich and famous people were first at the queue now whether you are a an anti-jab person or your pro-jab, I'm not going there either way. But this is one of the things that I definitely have found absolutely just hypocritical, really, of this entire concert. You've got Harry said that basically Mother Nature was punishing us for this worldwide bug. Yes, it was humanity's fault that we are being struck down by this bug. He openly said it, you can Google it. It was along the time when he was talking about we're all raindrops on the ground. I don't know what he'd been smoking that day, but I know it's legal in California. But here he is chairing up a concert, talking about the seriousness of it when he was basically blaming humanity before. I wonder if he'll come out with those lines. 
But Harry aside, you've got Jennifer Lopez, right? She's singing at this concert and she has openly been seen throughout lockdown going to public gyms. Now, well, they're probably very posh public gyms, but the fact that her and A-Rod, her ex-boyfriend, were, you know, they are multi-millionaires that have got several mansions between them, which are bound to have their own swimming pools, their own gyms, but they were still seen going into places. There were also images released of when um, J-Lo and A-Rod flew with their children to New York again in the middle of lockdown and also a recent holiday to the Turks and Caicos Islands. So we've always been treated throughout this lockdown of rich and famous people going on holiday because, you know, in the UK, if you get caught going on holiday and it's not work related, you have to pay a £5,000 fine. To me, I'm obviously not going to run that risk, but to rich and famous people, it's nothing. They're already spending 50 grand on a single week's holiday somewhere anyway, so it's, it's, it's pittance. So you've got J-Lo that has obviously been bending the rules, shall we say, using her status to do so. Harry seemed to have bent the quarantine rules again due to his status. Then we get on to one of my favourite people in the world, French President Emmanuel Macron. He's also going to be appearing, you know, basically promoting this drive. This is the same French President that for the last couple of months has tried to been trying to block imports coming into the UK of our own bought and paid for doses. This is the same French president that is now suing the only vaccine manufacturer, AstraZeneca, that is actually selling their jabs at cost price. No profit to the company. Yes, the EU has decided that they have, they're going to throw their toys out the pram and sue the only company that has been doing it at cost price. Then he is going to be giving a speech at this vaccine concert. Are you having a laugh? Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime Minister, he is going to be giving a nice little announcement as well. He's going to be there. He famously also is in trouble at the moment because a lot of the Canadians have not even got their first dose. There are people, I've got friends in Canada. Hi Suzanne. I just can't help but think that the, the, the type of people that they've got to do this concert, you've got Harry and J-Lo that have, you know, <laughs> well, bent the rules to suit them, shall we say, that, you know, J-Lo obviously going on holiday to the Turks and Caicos. Yes, she's entitled to have a holiday. Yes, she can pay the fine. But, you know, this worldwide box reportedly doesn't know if you're rich or poor, but it doesn't seem that way of late, does it? It seems to know to avoid rich people. As for Harry and Meghan, if I see them on TV talking about compassion and kindness one more time, I think my head is going to explode. You know that's exactly the line. It's going to be about showing global compassion, caring about the world. When they have just recently trashed their own families live on TV, Harry in particular trashed his family whilst his grandfather was dying and they're going to be talking about showing compassion and love and healing the world. It is the equivalent, as far as I am concerned, as having Hannibal Lecter on stage promoting veganism. So that is it for this video. Tell me what you think of this concert. I just think it's going to be a bunch of egos all patting each other on the back, telling each other how fabulous and well they are. Typical, you know, elitists. But um, yeah, so if you think I'm wrong, please tell me so, but please keep it polite. And um, I will be back with you guys tomorrow and we will talk about Catherine and William and not a mention of the duo from Montecito. Take care for now, guys. Bye. If you like my video, please remember to like and subscribe. Please angry typists, you will be blocked, so save your fingers for time. If you would like to buy me a coffee, please go to my about page and click the link. Love, Taz.